you're starting for any exam, you need the best cup of coffee and you need a pour over method. I like it the best. I realized I just recorded the entire YouTube video without uh, recording, uh, without clicking the go button. So whew, here we are again talking and uh, let's get into it. So today's video, I just kind of want to outline what I've done for the JLPT N1 over the past couple of weeks. And if you know, if you've been following my channel, uh, you know that I've just been reading a crap ton. So um, I've finished a, I, I'd say about a light novel and a half over the past couple of weeks. Um, preparing to preparing to take the JLPT N1 by just reading a lot and using a lot of Yomi Chan. So um, we'll see how that translates over into the JLPT N1. But additionally, you know, I've been I've been you know consuming specific JLPT and JLPT just in general videos on YouTube from Nihongo Mori and um, thinking about taking some practice tests. So uh, one of my subscribers was so nice enough to uh, lend me some resources to take some practice tests. So I will be taking those uh, over the course of the week and seeing if I can get any more specific JLPT uh, N1, just getting better at taking the test, so to speak. How am I feeling about the JLPT N1? Well, uh, the way I described it was that uh, at least as a next time. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't want to psych myself out before the JLPT N1 test date. It is this Sunday on December 4th, this Sunday. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Regardless, uh, what I also want to talk about is what are my studies going to look like after taking the JLPT N1. Um, as I had said before in a previous video, I'm going to continue reading whether I pass or fail, and I'm just going to continue along that way. But what I want to do is instead of reading on digital content, I want to get more into reading physical content. So as you may know, I bought a bunch of light novels from Japan, and they're all in Japanese, of course, and I want to get into reading those light novels. Um, I bought them, so I, I want to, you know, read them. And so that's what I'm going to be moving over to because I can take my time a little bit more while reading the books. I don't have to feel the need to look up every single uh, vocab word that I don't know. And I only really have to look up things that I think are important to the story and I'll be able to continue along that way. Of course, I'm going to have some times where I'm going to be using Yomi-chan to read stuff and then reading the physical books, but I want to move over to physical content because I think it'll help uh, die down my reliance on using Yomi-chan to look up literally everything, even things that I know. So yeah, that's what I want to go into for my reading. And then also I want to get into more speaking. So I want to get a little bit better at speaking. Uh, I recently had an experience where I went to a Japanese restaurant and I ordered all in Japanese and I thought that was pretty fun. So um, despite it being fun though, I was like super nervous. I could feel, feel my heart throbbing out of my chest <laughs> while I was trying to eat food. So, um, you know, I want to get a little bit more comfortable with speaking. And so I want to continue with the italki sessions that I had been doing in the past and just doing conversations. So most of those conversations should be uploaded onto my YouTube channel and uh, we'll see how those go in the future and how my Japanese improves. So. Those are my two things, move over to physical content and do a lot more speaking. And for the most part, that's going to be it. Um, if I do not pass the JLPT N1 this time around, I don't know if I'm going to be taking it in the June or July next year. I probably will wait until December. Why? Because I don't want to do like a JLPT N1 crunch to another crunch time. I, I want to have some time to where I can um, enjoy the content that I am consuming as that's the most important part for me in the journey since I'm not trying to um, move over to Japan or get any type of uh, Japanese job or uh, schooling so I don't need the N1 credentials for anything other than just seeing whether or not I can pass it so yeah I don't want to jump from crunch to crunch because I I don't need it at this time that's so that's my situation and so other than that, you know, reading, physical, speaking, that's what my current Japanese journey is going to end up looking like. And then Anki, for the most part, you all know Anki, the space repetition flashcards. I might uh, slow down a little bit on Anki. You know, I've only been doing 15 cards per day, but um, 15 cards per day can still take me around 20 to 30 minutes. So maybe I'll, I'll make it a little bit less. Um, but we'll see how that goes we'll see how far I get by just reading uh, that's a big thing that I've been a um, fan of lately 
uh, this year is just reading a lot. And so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, before I ramble on too much, I just wanted to make this video. Uh, the exam is going to be on Sunday. So, yeah, we'll see. But to other JLPT N1 takers out there or JLPT takers out there, I want to wish you the best of luck or um, best of luck if you've already taken it. I actually don't know the test dates for other ones. And yeah, we'll see you again in a future video out there. Good luck in your studies out there. See you later.